Now some people might say, hey Chad, what are you doing? You know, winery, trying some nice, really delicious wine. And normally I'd say yes, but I'm actually here to work out. The truth of the matter is, when John told me about this, he said, hey, we're gonna do this thing called pound and pour. I'm like, what's that? It's like full on aerobics with drumsticks. So here we are. We are at Coiled Wines off Chindun Boulevard, and tonight we are partaking in a pound and pour class, and I see that you definitely have the pour part going already there, Chad. You know we have to work out after this. I was listening to the instructor. She said you can have some before you work out. You were not truthful with me about this whole endeavor. Oh, what was I not truthful you about? You said, I said, what's pound and pour? You said, I don't know, it's like you go to um, the winery and you like work out with drums and then you drink wine. Yes. That's not what we're doing. I didn't wear my spandex. I didn't wear my fancy workout clothes. I was gonna say, your outfit is quite uh... Well, the nice thing about it is, if I really feel like it and I'm working on aggression and I wanna let people see what's underneath here, these are snaps. So I can just Whew! go like that. Yeah, I hope it doesn't come to that. These are rib sticks and you're hitting the ground, you're getting aggression out, you burn a ton of calories. Do you need rhythm to actually perform this? Not really, no, it's a, you follow me. And I don't know if you've seen Chad, he looks like a folk musician, but I think his <laughs> rhythm is worse than mine. Is, is someone like him going to be able to survive the class? Is this a beginner well, workout? It's for any age, any stage, you can modify everything that we do. And I tell everyone in the beginning what to do to modify it. And a lot of people drink beforehand and after, so it's a lot of fun. A couple glasses of wine before doesn't hurt. Okay, so where do you do just the regular pound classes? Um, 28th Street Bar in Seoul, which is on 28th Street in the North End. I feel like this is a predominantly female activity, but I think this makes for a really good date night, especially yes. as we're coming up on the winter time. Warm up with some pound, get the aggression out, yep. and let's have some drinks afterwards, right? Yep, exactly. So if yep. I want to stay up to date, where do I go? What do I sign up for? How do I find out when the pound and pour is coming? Follow me on Instagram and Facebook, Pound Boise. This pound and pour is $18. Wine included? Yep, one glass of wine. And what if I want more than one glass you of You can purchase it here, Excellent. as many as you'd like. Okay. Because yeah. <laughs> Chad's thinking about bottles right now. Of course, yeah. Well, Chad, we did it. We pounded and you poured. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I pounded too a little bit, but I had to check on, you know, Madeline was having some issues with the cameras. Okay, because uh, I saw Madeline at one corner of the room and you over by the wine on the other side of the room. Right now, I'm reading your lips because I can't hear a damn <laughs> thing, by the way. Holy I don't know, cow. But, but, yeah. John hit me in the toe with this, like super hard. I might have broke my toe, we're not sure yet. It wasn't on purpose. <laughs> there were some moves in there that I did not think that I would ever do in my entire life. Yeah. It, it was part sign the game Simon says yeah. because I was just staring at Amanda well, like the first part of the class. I was trying to I couldn't look at up I, like it. I was looking at Amanda, but she's right. reverse. So as soon as I started looking at somebody that was in the same position as I was, looking the same way, then I got it. I just locked in on Amanda yeah. and I'm like, yeah. and I was three steps behind her the whole time. Yeah. That was fun uh, though. I, I definitely got a freaking workout, man. I yeah. am oh, yeah. sweating yeah. like. I, I did too. I broke a sweat and I got a workout too. I will say too that it was super fun to use these, right? Yeah. I mean, once you got beyond the fact of like, okay, I'm an uncoordinated ass in this class, and you went into, oh, I'm finally starting to get it. And you started to like smack these things down at the same time everybody else was. There was a huge sound and it was cool to be part of that collective sound of like, there was a lot of energy. That was fun. Uh, I would, I, I'm gonna do it again. All right. Please subscribe to the channel where we help you find awesome adventures in Idaho and beyond. Follow us on social media. If you have any questions for us, we would love to see it in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.
about that rhythm I got in this class. No, huh? you still don't have rhythm. Not at all. 